top five songs. All right, that music means it's time for. Wait. Hmm? Yep, wait. Oh, shit. Hmm? The Gen Z game! I just came up with these, I'm sorry. All righty then. So we got a new format for the Gen Z game here, folks. What are you owing at? Crispy's in the house, I just realized. Hello, Crispy. Go yeah. ahead, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Crispy is Springtrap. Yeah, didn't realize. All right, so the, the way that the, the new game is going to work is essentially I bought a Generations Trivial Pursuit game. And there is a question for each generation, and there's different categories. There's entertainers, architecture, awards and trophies. There's six total categories. And each guy is going to get one question from each category, and they get to pick which generation they're guessing on. Each generation's worth more points or less points. Gen Z's worth four. Greatest generation's worth three. Baby Boomer's worth two. And Gen X and Millennial are worth one. Right now, everybody is tied up at one apiece based on the Around the World game. And we are going to start with Franklin Jonathan Sharples this time. Okay. So the first category, Frank, is entertainers. Which generation would you like the question to be from? Um, Gen Z and uh, World? I want to go World. No, 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 no. No. God damn, these guys don't read the fucking show notes. I did. I read the show notes, man. Don't say these guys. <laughs> don't put me in with this person, fucking right amateur. <laughs> so it's just all pick one. Just explained pick one. in there. You pick a generation because each generation's worth different amounts of points. Gen Z's, that question mm -hmm. is worth four points. The greatest generation is worth three points. Baby Boomer's worth two. Gen Even X and Millennial is worth one. I'll so which Gen generation? Gen X and Millennial. Let me just go one. I want to go one. No, world. you have to pick. That's, no. You have to pick. They're, those are different ones. They're both just each one. So do you want the Gen okay, X millennial. or the Millennial give question? Me, give me Millennial. All right. All right. Frank wants the Millennial question. Which world, actor please. played a... Neuro <laughs> Fuck you. Which actor <laughs> played a neurosurgeon <laughs> affectionately known as McDreamy on Grey's Anatomy? The actor? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I got his you face. You know his face. I can't, yeah, you know I his can't face. think of his... I liked his 80s movie where he was like... Can't buy me love. Yeah. Patrick Dempsey. Oh! How do you... Wow! Pulled it out of his ass. One point for Frank. Yeah. By the way, that movie all about... Uh, I'd love winding to go for the world on... round two, please. <laughs> that movie all about a uh, wine being spilled on a suede dress. Yeah. Good God. All right, Shim, moving on to you. Uh, we're still sticking... Wait, what the hell? Okay, so this yours is a uh, video games, actually. I'm gonna go Gen Z. Ooh, he's going for four going points. For I'm going for the big. I'm gonna go big or go home. All right, there's nothing wrong with that. Get it wrong. Let's go. In which video game can the player choose to play in different modes, including battle royale, save the world, zero build, or creative? <laughs> uh, I love the I love the land laugh track. <laughs> Mario Kart. No, wrong one. All right. Sorry, we were looking for Fortnite, ladies and gentlemen. Fortnite. Ah, too bad. So apparently these cards are different. So, Lane, yours is actually going to be uh, horror movies. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Which generation do you want? <laughs> oh, yeah. God. That we'll, is go, like, yeah. we'll go baby boomers. Oh, he's going baby boomers, so he's going for two points here. All right. What 1963 Alfred Hitchcock film took place in California's Bodego Bay? Or is it Bodego Bay? Bodego. Bo 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 uh, Bodega. Fucking Was bird. it uh, the birds? Oh, Holy fuck. shit. I keep hitting the wrong damn button. Yeah, that's right. Lan, you got yourself... Uh, which one was that? Baby Boomers? You got yourself two points there, buddy. Yeah, it was uh, the birds. Uh, Bodega Bay is in the Sonoma County. About one and a half hours from San Francisco. Good guess. Shim can look in the chat if it's not his question. No, I, I wanted chat? to know my... I wanted to cheat. I wanted to look Are at my question. Are you fucking dick? No, I know. I'm, I'm, she put it in later, and I was like, I could have looked later. I'm, anyway, move on. If I you will are, not cheat. If I, you, you have... are in the chat, feel free to answer. Again, it's on these guys to not cheat. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm, I guess I, I... I'm not quite sure what this one would be. I think this is... Christ. 
Is it my turn? Do I get to pick? No, it's on Frank. Oh, come on, give it to me. Uh, planets. Oh, make it five uh, yours is, uh, this is architecture. Which generation do you want? Um, um, <laughs> let's go millennial again. Going no, millennial. Yeah. Now you got a shot. Formerly yeah, London good. Bridge Tower, what building named for its shape became the tallest building in the United Kingdom in 2013? It looks like a, a butt plug. I don't know what the name of it is, though. The egg. The shard, ladies and gentlemen. The shard. The shard. It's called the shard. They were so close, weren't they? Here's a here's a random one for Shim. What celebrated and distinctive performing arts center? This isn't for points, by the way. Uh, what celebrated and distinctive performing arts center originally designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzon? Opened in 1973. Why are you giving that to me? Because it's a Sydney <laughs> Opera House. Oh, it's a it's Sydney shard, Opera House? Yeah. It's a shard. Okay. It's the shed. All right, next one for Shim. Which generation you want, buddy? I'm going to go Gen Z again. He's going Gen Z. He's going for the big All points. The what is the sweet and spooky TikTok username of former art oh. student Tyler Gaka? <laughs> known for his unique <laughs> brand of gentle chaos. Fuck everyone. <laughs> shard. It's not shard. I, I, I. Butt plug user zero two. You just I don't know. Pig on this for a minute there. <laughs> Dude, I got no concept. No idea. Ghost honey. Go, go. Hell? That's great. What? I didn't make up the questions, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, make sure you guys oh, are clicking I'm... like down below. It's much appreciated. All right, moving over to yeah, land. After... Which uh, which generation you want, buddy? I'll take Japanese relations for two hundred, Alex. Um, <laughs> I'll take ape tit. <laughs> the uh, greatest, greatest, greatest generation. Oh, he's going big, going greatest generation for three points. Big Lan. Who was the main protagonist in J. D. Salinger's coming of age novel Catcher in the Rye? Oh, what man. the three different options? Holden Caulfield, Scout he gets Fitch. options? Yeah, some Fucking of them. what? Some of them Why have options. I, get options I didn't the write the questions. Get off my back. Don't give him options. Holden Caulfield, Scout Finch, or Sally Hayes. It's rigged, Shim. It's rigged. The whole game is now void. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Same, same again. Shard. Holden Caulfield, Scout Finch, or Sally Hayes. Uh, the first one, Holden Caulfield. <laughs> he just got it. You're, you this is, dude, you could have given me three, like, you, you know what okay, I mean? Okay, look, oh, there's, I'm literally reading these off of the fucking cards angry. that I bought. He's, I can't he's, make up three him, options. Don't, don't give this, him the by options. By the way, Just by the way, guys, I want to be very clear. The subtext in Goat's voice right now is, why don't you do something, motherfuckers? <laughs> it is. <laughs> It fucking is. I bought here's this game for noise. this, and they're fucking pissing and moaning. You know what? And here's Fine. another fart noise. <laughs> We've got uh, just, just so that everyone, to be clear, everyone who's watching, so that you understand that joke, Brandon does all the work for this, all the show notes, <laughs> all the research, and we show up and waste his fucking time and By ride his and coattails as the only professional. Mm -hmm. He's he's not wrong. Uh, Just so that he's got shit to chop yeah, up for his channel. Yeah, yeah so, so we, uh, we gotta cause as much anarchy as we can. Mary Raver says Sharples is my fave. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Springtrap, aka Crispy, says, "What does the winner win? It is bragging rights, but also whoever is, has the well, most points at the end gets to go first in the movie draft." It's kind of the big thing. Are All we right. doing? Are we doing that again? I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna have face. a fucking stroke. Look at his face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. All right. Where are we at here? Frank. We're at the world. We still have four questions per guy to go here. Frank, which generation do you want? Wow. It's uh, uh, awards and awards and trophies is your category. Uh, awards and trophies. Screw it. Let's go Boomer. Oh, I, I'm going to tell you, you wanted to go Gen Z on this. Can I you get Can I get it. the answers at the end of the question for this one, please, Alex? No, you may not. <laughs> what are you going? Baby Boomer? Shh. Baby boomer. You, oh fuck! You picked like the most difficult one out of all of this. The Art I'm Ross. Gonna cheat. The Art Ross Trophy is awarded each year in the NHL to the leader in what statistical category? One more time. The Art Ross Trophy. If you're fucking googling it, I'm gonna. I can see it. 
I can see your screen behind you in your James Dean poster. <laughs> That's the TV. <laughs> That is where wrestling showed up. The art, the art Ross Trophy is awarded each year in the NHL to the leader in what statistical category? Well, seeing as I know nothing about hockey, because the only snow we have in Florida is cocaine. cocaine. <laughs> um, it's got to be saved pucks. Nope, Damn. scoring. Oh. <laughs> All right, Shim. Why couldn't I get, like, three scoring, not scoring, or punching refs in the face? Here's one that's right up Shim's alley. Baseball. All right, fuck you, Sharples. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the half of your show is just picking the shit that's going to make me look so dumb. Yeah, let's do no, Gen that's Z later. again. That's later. I, I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident, man. Gen Z, baseball all the way. Okay. Let's go. This one has options. Do I get multiple choice? It does. This one does. This one has three. Let's go. Let's Which go. team did not participate in the 2009 World Series, nicknamed the Liberty Series? The Yankees, the Mets, or the Phillies? Oh. The Yankees. Oh. No, I am Too sorry. Bad. It is the Mets. The nickname All was right. in the honor of New York's Liberty Statue for the Yankees and Philadelphia's Liberty Bell. No points for Shim. Land, moving over to you, buddy. What do you want? Yours is games. 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 Uh, we'll go. We'll go Gen X. He's going Gen X in ladder toss. What is the name of the two balls connected by a string? <laughs> <laughs> Look uh, at it. Coral. Coral balls. That's a good thing. I only picked a point. Um, yeah. I don't know. You're not gonna the, get it. The the bolo balls. You have no fucking clue how close you were right now. <laughs> it's, I know a bolo is usually two balls tied together. It's also bola. On the lookout it's bola. bola. Yeah, it's bola. So there you go. You guys happy? It's not rigged for Land to win. Moving on to Frank here. Yours is transportation, your category. Mm. Which generation you want, buddy? Uh, the world. I'm going millennials. I mean, I'm not catching up to this, so give me just a point. You could, you could go Gen Z. <laughs> Fine, Gen Z. Let's let's go for go. broke. Oh, dude, Frank. Did I did I find a lucky charm? So I get which? Like, okay, Gen Z points? question. Gen Z question, uh. right here for Frank. Which mode of transportation made popular by the hit movie franchise Back to the Future was released by the brand Hendo in 2015? The hoverboard. See, Frank, if you believe, if, if you believe, you believe you in love after love, that was four points. Kinda One, like two, three, four, Yeah, baby. that was a Gen Z question, I was going to say. Yeah. Why do I do this with you? <laughs> and then it oh, even has song a... I'm dragging behind you guys. It even has a note right here that says, although the DeLorean had been out, been around since 1976. All right, Jim, over to you. You can go. Yeah. You, you just got to get one and you're right back in this. If you, if you go Gen Z, but your category, appliances. Appliances. Yeah, Gen Z. Let's do it. All the way. Go big or go home. In the age of fruit smoothies and homemade juice, which rival to the Nutribullet has tried to chop down its competition in recent years? The chopper. <laughs> Get to the chopper. The, nin the ninja. ninja yeah. The ninja. The ninja. The company also makes air fryers and indoor grills. All right, Lan. Do, you know, the funny thing is there is one in Australia called the Chopper. Oh. Do you, guys, do you guys have the, yeah. uh, is, was it the Chopper? Was it that the the weird guy? Slap yeah, Chop. The Slap, slap Chop. chop. That's slap it. Chop. The slap, slap Chop. Slap it. Slap it. Slap it. Slap it. All right, Lan. Yours is, oh, here we go. Genetics and DNA. Which generation? Oh, all right. Are? We'll go Gen X. Go, go Gen Boomer. X. What popular genealogy company founded in 1983 has helped connect relatives around the globe to the, their historical family trees? Uh, Ancestry.com. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Ancestry or Ancestry.com. It is now the largest for-profit genealogy company in the world. Point for land. He takes the lead by one. We got two more questions for each gentleman here. Frank, your category. Yeah. Presidential. 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 As in? As in like people like who presidents. are presidents. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I didn't know if it was like how people the United United States. Or, 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 or. The world. I want I want Gen Z. <laughs> He's going Gen Z. He's going big. What nickname did Joe Biden earn based on uh did Joe Biden earn based Start on his Brandon. preferred mode of commuter transportation? Uh, wheelchair bound? Yeah, that's a good guess, but it's wrong. <laughs> Amtrak Joe. The only thing Amtrak, I've ever heard is Creepy Amtrak. Joe and Sleepy Joe, but that's just I, me. I, I, I know the dark Brandon, where they made fun, you know, like they were taking Brandon back and he put like fighter glasses on and became dark Brandon. I don't, I don't know. That's all I know. <laughs> I don't pay attention to politics that much. The world. All right. Shim, uh, government projects is yours. And it looks can, like these are all based in the Can you give me something that I can get close to? Can you just cheat? Because you gave, you know what I mean? Like, give me something I can get close to. Government projects. Right, if it's right, American right, government right, projects. Right, <laughs> help, a, help a brother out, for Christ's sake. Big business. I'll give you big business. Which big generation business. do you want? Let's, I'm, I'm going Gen Z. It's going Gen Z. Which crypto? Oh, okay. this is right up your alley. Okay, go. Which cryptocurrency generated much wow when it unexpectedly grew to a market cap of over $80 billion? 80 billion uh, Bitcoin. Which cryptocurrency generated much wow when it unexpectedly grew to a market cap of over 80 billion dollars? Oh, are you talking about Doge? Dogecoin? Thank God. It's Dogecoin. <laughs> God. Okay, cool. Thank you, you for helping the choice of out. three. Good God. Let me just fucking. Yeah, could have given. I don't give you oh three. Yeah, see everybody. Okay, else, yeah, well, gonna, Anna uh, said Bitcoin. Uh, Nightmare said Doge over in the. Uh, over well, in the you got to understand that depending on the year, the Bitcoin was big. Wow. Depending no, on the no, year. no, but so much, much wow, much wow comes from the Doge meme. The Doge meme. Much wow. It comes you from know the more meme. about that than I do because it's a stupid fucking coin that I pay no attention to. Anyway, we don't want to go down that road. Let's go to the next question. Mm -hmm. All right, Land, you're uh, in the lead uh, by one over Shim and uh, over one by Sharples and one on Shim. Infinitely inflationary. Uh, your category is <laughs> famous feds. Famous what? Feds, like federals, federales. I don't know about federales. Uh, feds. Uh, oh, we'll do we'll we'll do greatest generation. Ooh, going big. Greatest generation. Many visitors to Washington, D.C. land at an airport named after which Cold War statesman? Ooh. Oh, God damn it. Oh, he knows it. It's right there. Use your voice thing. Give him three choices. Many visitors! Oh, uh, uh, J. Edgar Hoover? Nah. <laughs> Dull, uh, Dulles Airport. John Foster no. Dulles. No idea who that is. Is it Dulles or Dulles? I don't fucking know at this point. Just end this thing, you fucking hooligan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Shim, it's on you, buddy. Yours is uh, festivals is your category. For your final question, by the way, you're down by one to land. I'm down by uh, one? No, sure? it's just for Frank. That's the case. This is for Frank. Oh, okay. Did I say Shim? I meant Frank, sorry. Um, yeah, he said Shim. No, Frank, you're so up. So tell me, give me... No, this is Frank's question. Oh, okay. Cool. Shut My the question. fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Dude, it's been a long week, man. Like, as you can't tell, I'm already losing my voice. Like, go to hell, everybody. All right. What's, what's the topic? Uh, festivals. Festivals. Um, uh, what's, what's the one that gives me two points? Uh, the one that gives you two points would be Baby Boomers. All right, let's go boomers, horns down. He's going boomers, horns down. Uh-oh. On what kind of farm was the first Woodstock Music and Arts Festival in 1969? Your three choices. Flour, dairy, or poultry? It was a dairy farm. Two points for Frank. I get stories of... Woodstock from my dad all the time. I mean, it's just engraved in my head. Yeah, and if you want, you uh, here on the YouTube channel, make sure you go check out the history of rock that Shim and I did on Woodstock Ooh. 69, Woodstock 94, and Woodstock 99. Because I would have crushed that. Mm. <laughs> so, <and> I, <laughs> quick, ask him again. All right, so, th okay, this one's for you, for uh, Shim. Leisure yeah. foods. Leisure foods. 
Let's go. What am I behind? Two points? You're behind Frank by three. Yeah, go Gen Z. It's going Gen Z. He's looking to take the lead. This would be the greatest comeback of all time in this game that just started today for the first time ever. In 2016, (laughs) what trendy dish did social media writers for the Washington Post describe as more than just a meal, it's a meme? Oh, fuck, Uh, you better get this. No, why would I? Okay, 2016, New York Post... Uh, more than just what, 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 what was trending for food? What'd you say? Huh? In what'd 2016, okay. what trendy dish did social media writers for the Washington, Washington Post describe as more than just a meal? It's a meme. Dude, I'm trying. I really am. It's on the. T- I, I, I want to cheat so bad because it's right there on the screen. I can see the chat. All right, I'm gonna go pork rinds because I got no fucking idea. Nobody, <laughs> nobody, rinds. nobody actually. Oh wait, no, Nightbear just came in with the uh, correct answer. Fra- uh, Shim is wrong. <clears throat> oh, it's avocado toast. The dish originated I, I in Australia. Okay. Are you giving me this? This is a hint. No. It is avocado toast, but it says yeah, it's right avocado here. toast. It fucking yeah, yeah, originated I, I, in Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know no, your own I, country. I, you got no national pride. Jesus. I, <laughs> are you really from Australia? Are you sure you're not from yeah. New, New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lane, this one's for you. You are one point behind Franklin Jonathan Sharples. Your category, slang. Slang? We'll go Gen Z. He's go. Oh, he went big. He wants to really go up over the top here. Top rope from Big Land. What steamy beverage is also a slang term for gossip? Uh. Ah. <laughs> this is when I wish we had his camera. <laughs> um, Dude, it's, it's always weird. Beverage. Steamy beverage is also a slang term for gossip. Yeah, I, I know this one. Can I steal? I had a feeling you would know it. There's no stealing. Not in, not in the new updated version of That's Gen a bunch Z. Of cap. Make sure you like below. What? Oh man, I have no idea. Uh, tea. It is tea. Tea. It is tea. Frank got it tea. right. So what do you remember the Kermit the Frog memes where he's sipping on the tea? Is that where the fuck that comes from? That is where it comes from, my man. That's how it got incorporated. The well, gossip. I, I don't, or you know, well, I just, I'm, I'm just over here, you know, like they're not listening to the gossip. So, by the way, the whole point of this that too is that to the people that Pleasure. lose the game are supposed to eat one of the birdie bots every flavor beans. And I messaged all the guys last week Where's about it, and I got fucking crickets for an answer. <laughs> Again. Only one doing the work here. Um, but that's it. So hopefully, like, if everybody can get their hands on some, that's going to be the thing is that if you lose the game, so it's not necessarily winning. Like, yes, you will get to, like, pick first in the uh, in the movie draft. But on the flip side, you'll have to eat a bean. And hopefully it's not one of the vomits, uh, vomit tasting ones. I looked for him. Couldn't find him. I need to. I just probably need to order him off the internet. Oh, you the can't line. find him on Amazon. Do you think you could get him down there, Shim? Is Amazon on the line? Is it on the line? I think it's on the line. I think you order. No, it honestly, and those beans you, that you have to get those beans. You have to get them imported from the states. I'm gonna they're in, they're I got I got to ship uh, like yeah, laptops and what, stuff yeah. for my company. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ship you a, uh, ship a thing beans. of beans. Solid. <laughs>